what's the mystery that you would love to uncover in the near term beyond <laughs> beyond all the mysteries that you're already surrounded by well so there's a structure called the claustrum okay mm -hmm. so this is a structure it's underneath our cortex it's yay big you have one on the left on the right underneath this underneath the insula it's very thin it's like one millimeter it's embedded in in wiring in white matter so it's very difficult to image and um it has uh, it has connection to every cortical region and francis crick the last paper he ever wrote he dictated corrections the day he died in hospital on this paper he now we hypothesize well because it has this unique anatomy it gets input from every cortical area and projects back to every co uh, every cortical area that the function of this structure is similar to, it's just a metaphor to uh, uh, the role of a conductor in a symphony orchestra you have all the different cortical players you have some that do motion some that do theory of mind some that infer social interaction and color and hearing and all the different modules and cortex but of course what consciousness is consciousness puts it all together into one package mm -hmm. right the binding problem all of that and this is really the function because it has relatively few neurons compared to cortex but it it, it talks it, it sort of receives input from all of them and it projects back to all of them and so we are testing that right now we've got these beautiful neuronal reconstructions in the mouse called crown of thorn um, crown of thorn neurons that are in the claustrum that have the most widespread connection of any nerve neuron i've ever seen they're very they, they're, you have individual neurons that sit in the clouds from tiny but then they have this single neurons wow. have this huge axonal tree that cover both ipsy and contralateral cortex and and trying to turn using you know fancy tools like optogenetics trying to turn those neurons on or off and study it what what happens in the in the mouse so this thing is perhaps where the parts become the whole it, it integrates perhaps parts. it's one of the structures it's a very good way of putting it where the the individual parts turn into the whole of the whole of the conscious experience.